<laughs> I want to welcome City Council Mem, uh, Mr. Alarcon. Thank you, Madam President. Board members, this is a, a horrible time uh, in so many different ways, and we all know how difficult the decisions that are before you uh, are. The fact of the matter is that the city of Los Angeles needs education. We need adult education and we need preschool education. Obviously, the early childhood program provides permanent opportunities, long-term opportunities. As we, as we aim to bring high-quality businesses into this city, it makes it more and more difficult to argue that, that there is a long, uh, long and deep workforce that, has, that is skilled, that, that can provide them the workforce that they need to build a healthy economy for the future. Uh, if we reduce those opportunities in education, we will reduce our capacity to lure those companies into our neighborhoods. And it will diminish the economic opportunity for those neighborhoods and reduce the overall tax base for the city of Los Angeles. I don't know how that helps the educational system. The fact of the matter is we need to build education. We were moving in the right track. We were building schools in every neighborhood across this, this region. Uh, and yet now we are saying no to people who desire education. Just last a uh, couple of weeks ago, I spoke at a graduation at an adult school in Panorama City. And, and I noticed that more of the graduates were less than 20 years old than older than 20 years old. Well, that speaks volumes to me. These are people who could not fit into the K-12 system for whatever reasons. Maybe they had a child, maybe they just could, didn't like, as, as the officer said, they just couldn't fit into the program. But they still wanted education and they came back. In fact, they never left. They just continued on. I would only hope that we could take that special class and perhaps reclassify them back into the K-12 through system so that we could save their educational opportunities. I know how difficult these decisions are. But the, the future is, is bleak if we have to shun 300,000 adult education students from the opportunities to grow in their capacity on the job. If we do that, we will reduce our overall economic capacity, our overall uh, development as a society, and I believe we will diminish our, our um, many hopes for the young people among us. If we eliminate the preschool programs, the early childhood education programs, obviously, that, that again, will, will impact our ability to lure quality businesses into our community. Uh, I, like the gentleman before, uh, graduated three, uh, three kids through uh, the K through 12 system. I also have a four-year-old, uh, and she wants to go to flower garden. She doesn't know how to say kindergarten, but she sees it as, as a flower garden because she believes it's a place where you can grow, and she wants to go there. Uh, don't take that opportunity away from her. Thank I think you very we can much. build a better future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to welcome the mayor of the city of Huntington Park, Ophelia Hernandez.